What's up agents and welcome back to another Division PTS video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new exotic marksman rifle that has hit the PTS today ready for season 11 and we're going to see if it's any good. Before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come on over to Twitch and hit follow, I could be streaming live right now. And if you need any help with the division, you'll find my community Discord link down below in the description. And with all that said, let's get started. So, usual PTS warning, this might not make it to the final game as it is right now. Part of the reason I make these videos for anything that I do like or don't like, hopefully they'll see the feedback that we are giving them, get it uploaded on the forums as well. And we might get the improvements that we feel are necessary. So, we're going to take a look at this one. It's the Sacrum Imperium. Sounds very Final Fantasy, uh, but we'll uh, we'll take a look at it. It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's animated. This is the skin. You know, there, there's like a little canister on the side. It's wrapped up. I think it's, it's so such a good-looking gun. Got flammable bands written all over it. You know, you take a second to, to look at that. It's really, really nice. Uh, it comes with a headshot mod at 20%, a magazine at headshot for 10. It's got some stability on there, and it's got some optimal range on there as well. It comes with marksman rifle, headshot damage, and swap speed in the attributes. Really unsure about the swap speed. If that was, you know, anything else, crit chance, crit damage, damage to target out of cover, man, it would be phenomenal. Uh, and I don't really get the swap speed. It's it's a dead attribute, unfortunately. Uh, and then we've got the uh, the talent, uh, the trap. Tags enemies when in scope, maximum of ten. If agent kills, if agent kills any marked target with a headshot, all other targets will have fifty percent movement speed decreased and receive burn for ten seconds, and that's a long time. The cooldown on it is 30 seconds. Killing another enemy with a headshot will shorten the cooldown for 10 seconds. That's really, really nice. But the problem is, as you can see here, it says targets are marked after 2 seconds in scope. Now, the mark's wrong at the moment. Uh, it gives a, a gear set mark. There you go. You can see the... Look how long it takes to get the, the mark on. You know, it is literally a full, a full 2 seconds. You know, and to me, you might as well just just kill it. Why why wait the two seconds? It's you know, it's very very bizarre to me. I don't, I really don't understand the the choice in making it wait two seconds. Just let us scan the bad guys, and make it less than ten, perhaps. I w I would certainly, unless I'm missing the point of this. I get that. On fire is really nice distraction technique, and if you're being overrunning harder content, you know, it's nice, but really, you'd rather them be dead than, you know, waste two seconds of DPS hovering over them. Look, I can shoot and it, it doesn't, it kind of disrupts the mark being added to the, to the elite as well. So, let's just test that actually on an immune target. So if we keep shooting, oh, it does get the tag. So it was just me thinking that it didn't. So it does get the tag, but yeah, not not ideal. I think we really should just be able to scan them, you know, move on to the next one, move on to the next one, shoot that one over there, perhaps. You know, you, you could have killed a lot of these enemies. Unless it's more for boss situations and that would make it super situational. But I really do think that it would benefit... From being able to be used in you know in day to day play, change the swap speed for sure to something else. Uh, but is it any good? Right, so we can compare it to uh, my surplus SVD under here. So first things up, when you're using it, it's really really stable, like really stable. It's uh, it's fantastic. There's no you know you can fire fairly fast. You know in a fairly spammy you know situation if you really wanted to. You know, just, just click, click, click. It keeps it like a laser beam. Really, really nice. So, that's good. And we've got some decent damage numbers there. 
you know, you look at them at the bottom there. We're at 890 which is, you know, is nice. We breached, you know, 106 there. Really, really nice. So that's really good. So if we, I'll tell you what, if we, I look at my, let's put some optimal range on my SVD. If I can. Keep the five rounds in. We don't want to give them up. We don't want a four times scope either. All right, so we'll keep it at that. So when you look at the two on a comparison, this one's using Ranger that has the, the random talent that it's got. Uh, we've got slightly slower RPM on the SVD. Same in the magazine size, but we've got more damage uh, on the SVD as well. But obviously, I've got damage to target out to cover here on the uh, in the attribute, which is uh, something to definitely uh, think about. And already you can see here the damage numbers are, are higher, are actually higher. You know, there's no no shake. You get just as much of a, a spamming ability. A little bit less. The SVD is a little bit more bouncier. If you're in a spamming situation. But as far as damage numbers goes, we are we definitely doing more damage. By about ten about ten percent more damage. And it's just as easy to control. And you know. I, th I think killing them over the whole hovering for two seconds. I just don't think it's worth it. I think this, this gun needs to be, you know, if for this to be good, I think this two seconds needs taken away. I think the two seconds definitely needs taken away and maybe consider putting something else here in the attribute. Uh, a surplus SVD with Ranger shouldn't be, uh, you know, they, they should at least be in line with each other. If you want to give it the talent to make it a bit weird and wonderful because exotics are meant to be like that. I just take the two seconds away. I really don't see the, the point at all. But obviously what you've got to consider is PvP. Um, it could be pretty rough. You know, 10 seconds. The movement speed and stuff could be pretty... Even at 20%, it could be pretty rough in PvP. Who knows? From a PvE point of view, I would take away the... Uh, the two seconds in scope maybe keep that in for pvp because uh, an svd is just doing a whole 10 percent more and that's just very quickly putting it together maybe it could have done more more otherwise i uh, i ran with the the best build that i've got now going at the moment for for marks from rifles i ran lincoln memorial with the svd absolutely fine really good it does work with this new exotic i'll run just the first section here now and, and show you but I'm just not using the talent. You know, it hits hard enough and it works really well with the build. Uh, I'll put the link to the build video in the description down below so you can you can check it out. But it kind of, you, you know, why would you use it if you're not using the talent at all? They maintain this outpost. Probably so die now, I'll run this live, but campus. we'll see. Hostile ID. Ah. Ah. You know, see, like, you, you know, you're still one tap in the red bars on uh, on heroic, and we'll one tap, you know, purples and the yellows as well when we get the stacks. Oh, that won't be a problem. They stay all together. Where am I being shot from? Bro, don't call me an app. Oh god, rude. But, you know, I'm just not having as good a time with it. As I was with the, uh, the SVD. Come on, show yourself. Now you'll think twice. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, it works really well. It's good enough to run the build with that I've been running, and you know. It's super stable, really nice, but throughout that entire section, I never propped the talent at all. And I just think this two seconds, especially in PvE, is just not... I just don't think it's going to work unless it's very situational. Maybe in a, a raid situation, but we all know what's happening to the raids. I feel like it will go un unused because uh, the, the benefits of killing rather than marking will be are always going to be better. You'd rather have the enemy dead than wandering around on fire.
after looking at him for two seconds. So that's going to be it for the video. I think this has got a lot of potential. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to put this in the PTS for, uh, forum. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, it'll get looked at. And hopefully we can get a PTS 2 and maybe get a small revision to this. Because I think that's all it needs. It's a beautiful gun and I think it will get used loads. I think it just needs that very small revision to the talent. That's going to be it, Agents. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more Division content. Appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. Don't forget to go over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be live. If not, catch the next stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, Agents. Goodbye.